All right, what's up, YouTube? So I'm just hopping on here real quick to kind of give a little commentary. Maybe maybe ran a little bit. So I work in the fitness industry. I get a lot of questions about people, obviously, wanting to lose fat, build muscle. I got a question the other day, actually today, from a kid saying that he wants to build muscle, um, you know, and lose fat. Uh, he's been he's been working out for the last two years, but he hasn't really seen any physical changes in his body. Um, and so I stopped him in his tracks. Um because most people, uh, you know, they want they want the instant gratification. They want the instant results. Uh, and this is not a knock on anybody. Um, he was saying, you know, I, I follow this person on whoever on social media. And social media can very, be a very, uh, you know, an influential thing. The first problem is, is never compare yourself to some of you see on social media. Um, stay in your lane. Focus on what your goals are, what you're trying to achieve. Um track your progress um track your food um track your workouts if you're serious about it if you really want to see results if you're really going to put the time and the effort into it um actually go about it and do your own due diligence don't follow i don't know instagram influencer a because this person does this workout routine um they eat this food and then you see these pictures online um that are that are filtered the lighting is good um and you and you get frustrated because you, you see these people and you your 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 progress is not on the same trajectory as them. Um, it's cool to follow people. Um, I appreciate you guys that do follow me, but um, don't you know take everything you thing with a grain of uh, every see everything you hear or see take it with a grain of salt. Do your own research. Um, you know uh, it's cool to you know draw inspiration from other people, but focus on yourself. Stay in your own lane. Like I said. Um, so what I was asking this kid, I just asked him a few simple questions. He said he's not seeing any results. Um, he's staying consistent with his workouts. I asked him if he's ever tracked his calories on my fitness power or tracked his macros. Never did that. So that's the first mistake. You could come in, work out all day long, um, feel like you're, you're, you know, you're pushing yourself, you know, you're, you're bringing the intensity. Um, and that's another thing, you know, you could be going through your workouts half-heartedly. You could not, uh, you might not, you'd be using progressive overload, you know, over the weeks and the months, you know, increasing the weight, increasing the volume. You need to be tracking all that to see where you were, you know, five months ago, six months ago. You know, you're not going to just build a crazy amount of muscle. So the first mistake I told him is you need to be tracking your calories. If you don't have an understanding of what you're eating, if what you're eating, you're pretty much just, you know, you're, 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 it's the blind leading the blind. You're, you're walking in the dark. You have no idea. You have no baseline to understand, you know, where you're starting for. You don't even have a jump off point, a baseline. So I told them, track your calories for one to two weeks, get an understanding of what your baseline calories are. In order for you to maintain that body weight, you eat a certain amount of calories on a daily basis. Don't change anything about what you've been doing in terms of eating eat the same way but just track it and after two weeks take them they take the average amount of calories that you eat and that's going to be your starting off point so you're going to have those uh you're going to have that amount of calories so what you're going to need to do is then you're going to need to break it down you're going to need to break your macros down so you want to be getting at least 0 0.8 to 1 gram um per a gram of protein for body weight. So if you weigh 160 pounds, you should be getting at least 140 to 160 grams of protein. It comes out, it equates to, for, for, each, uh, for each gram of protein is four calories, for each gram of fat is nine calories, and for each gram of, uh, of carbs is four calories. You're gonna wanna make sure you're getting 0 0.8 to 1.1 gram per pro uh, for protein, per gram per protein. And then carbs and fats. If you're a carb person, eat higher carbs, lower fats. If you're a fat person, uh, same thing, vice versa. You're gonna have to drop, drop the, drop the uh, higher. You're gonna have to have higher fat, lower carbs. Um, but you need to have an understanding of what you're eating. If you're just eating, um, if you're just eating the same amount of calories every day, you're not in a caloric surplus. You're just spinning your wheels. Of course, you're gonna stay the same wait you're not you're not giving your body the material i always tell people i use the analogy you can't build a house without materials essentially what you're doing inside the gym is you're breaking down your muscles all right so you're creating small micro tears and then you're going back and through rest sleep adequate nutrition adequate uh, hydration recovery you're gonna have to recover 
you can't just keep going in the gym and banging, 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 banging away, and then not giving your body, you know, enough calories in order to to build your to build muscle. And the process it happens slowly. It doesn't happen overnight. So when you see, you know, Billy, the Instagram influencer who gained, you know, 30 pounds of muscle in a year, that's not realistic. You need to stay, you know, everybody has different genetics. Um, there's a lot, there's a lot of different factors. They might be using performance enhancing drugs that they don't want to, you know, tell you. And obviously, you know, you got to put the work in. It, it doesn't happen, you know, overnight. But make sure you're tracking your calories. Find out how many calories you are eating in order to maintain your weight. And if you're trying to bulk, eat two to 300 calories over that. Track how your progress goes after two or three weeks. See how your body's adjusting. Are you losing weight? Or are you gaining weight? If you're losing weight, then you need to add more calories. If you're, if you're, if you're gaining weight at a steady rate, you know, you don't want to, you know, balloon up and blow up. Then, um, then, then keep doing, keep on that progression, that linear, and it's not a linear progression. It's not going to be like, Oh, I'm gaining, you know, X amount of weight. Um, just because I added 200 calories, your body is smarter than you think. It wants to stay in homeostasis. It wants to stay comfortable. Um, so that's the thing. Main thing, find out how many calories that you eat on a day, on a daily basis, figure out that number. Once you have that number, that's, that's basically huge. That's gold. Then you could adjust. If you want to lose weight, eat below that. If you want to eat, if you want to gain, eat in a, eat, eat like two to 300 above that. Um, and that's the main thing. Obviously, make sure you're getting an adequate amount of sleep. You want to be getting seven to eight hours of sleep. I know everybody has busy schedules. We don't live in a perfect utopian world, but that's also going to play a huge factor. And then most importantly, be patient. This isn't, this isn't, this isn't a sprint. This is a marathon. Don't worry about, like I said, don't worry about the Instagram influencer. Don't let that, you know, you know, frustrate you that, you know, they're, they're seeing more gains than you. Like I said, find out the caloric maintenance or your caloric maintenance. If you want to gain, eat above it. If you want to lose, eat below it. Maintain a smart training program that you're progressing week over week, um, month after month, be adding weight to your, to your movements or whatever you're doing, you know, squats, even if it's, you know, two pounds, two pounds a week or two pounds, two pounds a week would be incredible. Two pounds a month, um, of weight. Like, so on your bench press, if you're adding two and a half pounds over the course of the year, that's two times, that's 24 pounds on your bench. So Progressive overload, eating in a caloric surplus if you're trying to gain, eating in a caloric deficit if you're trying to lose weight, tracking your workouts, tracking your progress, take a, uh, write down a journal. And, and for some people, this might be too much. Um, but if you really want to see the results, you're going to have to, you know, get some data. You know, we live in a world that's data, data driven. So in order to see results, you're going to have to start taking down notes. You're going to have to have an understanding of where you've been and where you've come. Because you might not think you've gained any weight or you might not think you've gained any muscle. But have you tracked your progress? Do you know what you did six months ago? If you don't, then you don't know. Um, I mean, you're not going to walk out. You're not going to work out for six months and, and, you know, and look like Arnold in his prime. It doesn't work that way. So stay patient. Get the data. Um and, and remain consistent and do not ever compare yourself to other people that you see online. Um, you know, even you, whatever you, you, people follow people on YouTube, Instagram, whatever, Facebook, don't, 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 don't always believe the hype, you know? Um, but that, that's really what I wanted to come on here and, and address. Um, so those are, those are the moment, the main, the most important things, uh, that you need to be start doing. And I'll, I'll do another video like this if you guys are interested in it. But those are those are the main, you know, the bread and butter points. Obviously, it gets a little bit um, more intricate as you get, you know, as you get um, more advanced. But those are the basic things that you're going to have to do to stay to see results and, 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 and make it a lifestyle. You know, don't worry about, you know, seeing results like this. It's not going to happen in a snap of a finger. Stay patient, stay diligent, get the data um, and have fun with it. Most importantly. I hope this helped anybody uh, that might be, you know, kind of frustrated or going through it. Um, stay with it. Stay consistent. Um, and don't compare yourself to anybody else. All right. I appreciate you guys for subscribing. Like, comment, subscribe um, and share this with anyone you might feel uh, could benefit from this. All right. Peace.